Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the time span variable type. So the time span variable type is a variable that holds spans of time. Days, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. And it's intended to be one whole number basically up as high as possible. If we were to take this right here, our make time span node with eight hours, output it to as time span so we can look at it cleanly and print it, we're gonna get eight hours, zero, eight hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. If we were to change this to, for example, 20, 289 hours, screw it. And we'll go ahead and hit play. We're gonna get 289 hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. Now this is a little deceiving because the as time span node is just a convenience node. So this is something to note and it shows it in hours, minutes, and seconds. If we were to actually debug, we'll go and run this again and look at the debug output. We're actually gonna see you have 12 days, 0 0.01, so one hour, colon zero zero, zero minutes, colon zero zero, that's zero seconds, point zero 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 zero. Those are our milliseconds. So we actually convert 289 hours into 12 days, one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds. And it does that internally, and that's the way it does it automatically. And that applies to any of the operator nodes. So we have our subtraction, our division, our addition, our greater than, our equals to sign. We have our min value and our max value. All of these things will try to move things up and down as much as possible based on what you do to it. Note your min value is not going to be zero. Your min value in this case is a negative and your max is a positive. If you ever do need a min value, there's actually other nodes in here, such as zero value. And we have other things like getting the total numbers of values and getting the current numbers of values. These are all actually covered in a separate video. You can have negatives and you can add and subtract negatives. So that's something to keep in mind. But again, our as time span is meant to be a formatted thing. So if we were to take something like 10 hours and we're going to make 24 hours here and subtract, so subtract 24 hours from 10 hours and print this out on our screen, it actually shows zero hours, zero seconds. But if we were to look at the value internally, we're actually gonna have the proper value. Our output is gonna be a negative 14 hours. So keep that in mind. If you ever get something weird looking, you may need to format it yourself. The as time span node is simply formatted for positive hours, minutes, and seconds. And that's it. That's the basics of our time span node. It holds internally days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And whenever you do operations on it, it tries to get it as big as possible. It converts hours into days if possible, minutes into hours, and it does the same thing when you're subtracting and going down. 